YouTube, what's up, man? This was a rematch game, and I've told you guys a million times I get better as the game goes on. If I play you over and over and over, the better I get, the better I can come up with a plan to stop what you want to do. And this, I'm playing Jigby. If you guys are in my stream every night, Twitch, that link is below. Uh, you guys will know playing from time to time. Pretty much every weekend league, he tries to lurk me. Okay, let's go. Now, I'll tell you, last game, this was one of the stat lines of the game. You know, and I cannot let that happen again. So the number one thing I want to do in this game is stop the run. And if you also watched that previous video, Julio Jones killed me. So I have to stop the run and stop Julio Jones. Everything else, um, you know, go for it. You know, it's a lot of like what Bill Belichick does on defense. And this is where football comes into Madden. You know, because at the end of the day, it's a football simulation. But Belichick was always good at taking away the first thing you wanted to do. He did it to the Eagles in the Super Bowl in, what, 2004. They took away Brian Westbrook all the way. They took him out of the game. That's why T.O. with a little hobble leg actually went off on the Patriots, got a lot of single coverage, and was able to just really dominate his matchup. But they put a lot of focus on Westbrook. When they beat the Rams, they put a lot of focus on Marshall Falk. It was pretty much take away the number one thing you want to do. And that's, as a Madden player, you can learn from that. You can add that to your game. That should be your defensive goal. What can I do? I have to take away the number one thing that my opponent wants to do. But like I said, watch these videos on Twitch. We're live every single night. So hopefully you check it out. If you check it out, let me know you're from YouTube, man. I've been getting a lot of you guys coming through the Twitch. It's been great. Also, follow all the social medias. And let's get into this game to see if I can do a better job stopping the run and stopping Julio Jones. So we're going to play defense first so I can come up with my plan right away from the gate. The number one thing, you cannot let somebody run on you. Running is easy. It's brain dead. Press A. Uh, just get big yards. Juke. Human joystick. Juke box. Whatever it may be. Uh, it's going to get tons of yards. And it's really easy for somebody to do. Here we go. Julio Jones. My plan was to put Patrick Peterson over there and pretty much double team Julio Jones with my user as he throws an out route there. So I'll mix up Patrick Peterson between a cloud flat, man coverage, pressing, but you can see the run is absolutely boxed. And that's my number one goal is to make sure you can't run the ball or throw to Julio. So I'll pretty much keep that press coverage and then uh, keep man up or double team Julio Jones with my user. It's really tough sacrificing your user as we get a big pick right there from Ronnie Lott, who is my cornerback number one opposite of Patrick Peterson. So we get an interception to start the day. I don't really like leaving him one-on-one -on, -one on the island right there, but uh, you do what you got to as Vic overthrows that would-be touchdown. Now, we're going to see it's going to be Blitz 7 every single play, and honestly, it's a pain to sit in shotgun against Blitz 7 and 8. Um, uh, you have to pretty much snap and make a read, and that's where I'm at against it right now. I don't think trying to block these 98-speed linebackers, as you see right there, I tried to block, and it just... It just doesn't work this time of the year. I'm really kind of off of that, try to block it. I just try to space the field properly and make some reads right there. Sean Taylor swats the ball away, but I take my three, I'm up in possession. Really tough, like I said, really tough to try to block a Clowney and, and Willis, Shazier, Lawrence Taylor. Everybody's super fast. So for me, um, I had the goal of just spreading out the defense uh, and making them guard a lot of space and taking advantage of it. You do have to make a read pretty much instantly. I'm just so ready for a new Madden and, and pretty much just the anticipation of a new Madden is really making uh, every other game kind of boring right now. So if you're in the comments, let me know what other game are you playing right now with this last couple weeks until a new Madden comes out uh, right there. Julio Jones beat him, but he could not stay in bounds for a touchdown. Actually gets to the 10-yard line, runs the ball. Um, just giving me a little bit of trouble with this two-wide receiver eye formation. But we're going to hold the door right here. We get to a third and goal. He snaps and just throws right at the yellow zone. I don't know what the yellow zone actually covered there. Did not cover um, the slant. So he gets seven. Uh, that's okay. I feel good on offense. The way he plays defense, the way these blitz everybody guys play defense. If you make a good read, man, you're going to get a big play. And here I go to a little bit of spread. Uh, and it's just another option to just really open up and make. If you're going to blitz seven, these four people are going to have to cover the entire field. And it's really tough. Even with those Taylor Mays and players like that, it's really tough for them to cover the entire field. Um, so there we go. Lobbed up top. Boom. Earlier in the drive, I bullet passed it. Overthrow that time. I just touched pass. There it is. Uh, Calvin Johnson touchdown. We take the lead right back. 
I mean, that's what it's about. But like I said, I it, it's tough for me to play video games because all I'm thinking about is the new man right now. So that's again, let me know what video games you're playing. Are you guys playing the Call of Duty? Are you playing MLB? Are you still playing Madden? Uh, for me, it's tough. Um, this last, this is the dog days of Madden 20. Um, but like I said, I'm going to let him throw the tight ends. That's cool. That's fine. Uh, they're not going to kill me. They're not that fast. They don't have the abilities. So we'll see what's going on. And now he does have this wheel route, which starts killing me. So for the rest of the game, I'm going to man up the running, man up everybody and double team Julio Jones with my own, with myself right there. Boom. He beats Pat Pete really fast right there. Um, I kind of read the jam. That time I got a good jam, but he throws over the middle and Ronnie Locke couldn't do anything about that. Um, like I said, I got a good jam here. You got to read the jam, but he dumps it off again to Dickerson touchdown. Now that's when I realized, okay, he needs, first of all, somehow he gets a wheel route on both sides, one to the left and one to the right. I I, I don't know how that, maybe there's a play. I, I honestly don't know. But got to man up everybody. Pretty much play cover one and man, go, double Julio myself. First play again, right up top. He baseline pressing. Just find the seam, find they cannot cover the whole field. Touchdown, Julio Jones. Uh, we take the lead right back, just like that. I mean, I'll tell you, this guy is brain dead on defense. Like, not smart, not good. There's a lot better blitzers and people that blitz of seven and eight that are better on defense than this guy. I will tell you that. Uh, they make it a little bit tougher on me to play offense. But we get another big touchdown, take the lead. So right here, it's like, okay, uh, the running back's going to get manned up. Uh, you can throw to the tight ends all day. I don't care about the tight ends. They have they're fast, but they're not one play touchdown fast. As you see a drag right there to commit. I don't know who that is. Commit. I, I, I don't know. But uh, so like I said, I'm gonna man up everybody and double team Julio Jones. There it is. Double team working. Sean Taylor. Big interception. Best safety in the game. Boom. Just like that, we get the ball right back. Now when they blitz seven and eight, this running back dump off pass. I use the wheel route to do that. It is a weapon. Now, you can't do it every time or they will sit on it. You have to use it sparingly. But you know if they're continually blitzing this many people, that running back flat pass, if you do it once every 10 plays or something, I tried it there and just could not get the ball off. If you do it once every 10 plays, I'm going to punt the ball here with only 30 seconds left in the half. But if you do it once every 10 plays, every 8 plays, uh, they kind of forget about it and fall asleep. And you can pick up an easy first down. Running back wheel route, pretty much snap throw it. Uh, it's a great way to uh, really keep the chains moving against these Blitz 8 and Blitz 9 people. But if you do it too much, they'll key on it, take it away, and sack you. Uh, right there, he tries. Of course, what offense would he go to next? Near flex close. That would be his next offense, and I stopped that with a user rush. Uh, so we go to halftime. We get the ball. Feeling good. My plan is working. We're stopping the run. couple big plays here and there. we got to slow him down. Stop that running back wheel route. And score points on offense. Running back, angle route right there. I sent out five again. Um, really tough to play offense like this little hitch Julio Jones. Now, I tried Gunslinger, but I hate Gunslinger because I feel like it just makes the game super laggy. Even one Gunslinger as we dump the ball off there to Julio Jones flat route. I'm telling you, make it tough for these four defenders to cover the whole field. There it is again. Running back flat, spin move. We got hit after that. But that's why we have Walter Payton. He's a big boy. He can hold on to the football. Uh, that time we get sacked. Sometimes with the routes you put out there, they're they're boxed, you know. Right here we'll do another flat route. Uh, that time all over the flat route right there. Uh, four yard line. Now you guys are probably watching this this video, much like my other videos. It's like, oh, this guy's open. That guy's open. With these linebackers coming free off the edge, um, I kind of almost have to make my decision on who I'm throwing the ball with before I snap the ball. Because if you take a, a, a heartbeat, a millisecond to make a read, you're going to get hit. You're going to get a pressure inaccurate. So when you see people running wide open, I I, I pretty much have to predetermine who I'm going to throw the ball to. I predetermine that off his tendencies, where he goes with his user, what can manipulate his user, and what can manipulate his zones. Man, and it's, it's really tough as we get a swat right there from Ronnie Lott. I want him to make that play. But you guys are probably seeing streaks, and I'm seeing them too. Streaks wide open that I miss as we get a sack right there. Boom, fourth and long. Uh, he's going to go with two post routes, and he's going to snap throw this out route before he even gets to this. Okay, out route. Out route is a go-to go -to thing with Julio Jones. Another wheel route. See, I manned it up now. You're not going to get the wheel route. That's not happening. You're going to have to just throw the tight ends, honestly, at this point. Little angle route to the tight end. Like I said, so offense is really hard about, look at that press by Pat P, and he just gets the animation in front of me. Of course, the possession catch animations, just unreal. 
another run. That's how box the run is. That's why I'm not going to get out of this defense because I'm not getting ran on. Third, second and 13, everybody's box. We get another big sack. Get to third and long. We're going to just play coverage here. Make sure he cannot get a, a first down. Throws it up and mosses me. Yeah. If you if you if you're new to the program, if you're new to the channel, it wouldn't be a video without just getting mossed or getting teabagged by Julio Jones. He takes the lead. So now, like I said, you have to predetermine where you're gonna throw the football. Have an idea. Right now, I'm looking flat. I throw flat, even though Sean Taylor was almost on it. Tips it, but T.O. comes up with the ball. A nice little nine-yard gain. Again, there was nowhere to I went all streaks right there, nowhere to really go. But Vic gets away from Clowney that time barely if he clicks on there he probably sacks me but does not click on next play we do a little baby hitch the thing about the hitch it's safe because it kind of beats all the coverage but he gets a sack uh, he blows up my run right here just ran to get to the two minute warning big play right here bang streak right up the middle uh one thing about that i realized that every time i put that running back on that wheel route like i told you guys it took his user out of the middle of the field and our two point conversion we don't get it because he actually put somebody in his the own there wow first time all game but Every time I put that running back on the wheel route, it took his user out of the middle of the field. I was able to hit that streak for a big first down, big touchdown, up by five right here. Got to make some plays on defense. Double team Julio myself, man up everybody else, throws the ball away. Nowhere for him to go. Uh, it's time he motions out. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to bluff, but we're going to pick off that out route. You've got that out route way too many times on me. User pick off the out route. Sean Taylor, second lurk of the game. Big boy plays. There's that dump off to Chris Johnson. I got to hit a move right there on the corner. Uh, next play, we actually get up out of there with Michael Vick. Get the first down. Should have stayed in bounds, but uh, I was afraid of Sean Taylor and sliding and everything. Went out of bounds. So that's going to give him a chance to get the ball back. We're going to run the ball, and we're going to execute here. This is what it's about. We're going to go for a corner route here. I really do didn't like it. I probably had it open, but I'm just going to take a couple yards with Vic. Now here I'm going to call a pass play. Probably not going to pass the ball. Now I love doing this because, and I'll slide down inbounds to make to keep the clock running. But I love doing that because um, a lot of people will run the ball there. I feel like I can take more time off the clock passing the ball, scrambling behind the line, and then getting down than I can. <clears throat> excuse me. Than I can calling a run play. If I call a run play, I can only take off one or two seconds but if i do that i probably took off five to six seconds behind the line of scrimmage so that just adds to depleting the time for him to be able to score a touchdown here as i'm going to kick this field goal uh to take a eight point lead now i also took a delay a game rather than call timeout that way i can maximize the amount of time i took off the clock also did not kick this field goal perfectly so I'm going to be in trouble. I have to hold this at a random time to let this go because it will get blocked if he times it up right because I did not hit a perfect kick. So we hold it to around six seconds, kick it off. We take a, a what, eight point lead with 12 seconds. Also, kick this ball so he can return it. Now, honestly, he probably has a better chance of returning this kick than he does of scoring in eight seconds. But I still like to knock those three seconds off. He only has nine seconds here. Of course, he throws a rollout corner, gets tackles and bounds. That is is GG's in the chat that'll run the running time off we get the win just an example of, of just how to play defense and how to learn from your opponent and take away the number one thing they want to do if you like this video please hit the like button and let, let me know what games you're playing comment below what games are you playing to pass the time until the new Madden comes out